what's going on you guys back with another video in this video i want to talk about how to respond to the narc's silent treatment and all of us who have dealt with narcissists went through this before with them where they just shut down and shut you out and you're wondering what did you do wrong the first thing we think is is it our fault what did we do wrong how to fix it and so we try to break this silent treatment with the narcissist and they continue to stonewall us so now we're starting to look at ourselves like how can i fix this and that that's where we're stuck in our thoughts that is all a part of the narc's plan that's why they're giving you the silent treatment because while they deal with their own struggles of the way they think they shut you out so that it creates a safe place for them while they sit in their misery so they shut you out and have you thinking you've done something wrong because they don't want you to look at them as someone who has a problem which they clearly do you know so that's how i look at it that's my interpretation of it from dealing with these people and having gone through this with them in the past friendship relationships family you know i know that i've come to realize you know i had to grow into that and knowing that it was never my fault never my fault i didn't do anything to cause a silent treatment if anything it's their way of thinking and it's their way of responding they don't have a response so they just go silent they just shut down the way to respond to it is give them the silent treatment let them have it let them sit in it because sooner or later trust me they're gonna come back around and want to speak again and they're gonna open up those lines of communications by bringing up something that they have went through or i just wanted to let you know but they never apologize for the silent treatment they never apologize for you know just changing up on you and checking out all of a sudden they never do that you know they of course they're known for not taking accountability for their behavior and that is a behavior and it is also a form of abuse giving someone the silent treatment because you're messing with their mind and you're making them think that they did something wrong when you can just simply open up your door and mouth and communicate i feel as though narcissists have such huge egos and too much pride to admit that there's a problem in their mind they feel like they're just perfect and there are no flaws so of course they're not going to say well i think i need to get therapy i think i need to you know go get my head checked and see what's going on why do i get like this sometimes a lot of us don't think that but once we realize that it becomes a pattern and it affects relationships with other people we decide to go ahead and get the help we need. Anybody that, that want to be better, want to be their best self, they're going to do what they need to do to help themselves to get there. But narcs don't think that way. So they will take you right along with them through this miserable journey of waiting for them to turn around and finally speak to you again. You know, so once they let those walls down, it's just like you're waiting there like oh, like a sigh of relief that's just a natural reaction to the narc silent treatment but once we give them that once we start to respond different like by just letting them have the silent treatment let them sit in it and they finally want to communicate again you know if you have to communicate with them once they decide they want to communicate again the best thing to tell them is you know it don't even matter anymore because you've decided that this is who you are and you're not planning on changing or going to get some help or you know just go sit down and talk to a therapist or something you're not trying to fix yourself and i'm not going along with you you know through this once you let them know i'm not going through this with you again you can have it it is what it is feel how you feel think how you're gonna think just know that i will not be there when you decide to come back 
Like, I'm not going to entertain this foolishness with you. When you let them know that, that's when they'll stop. Because a narcissist, I notice that they don't like it when you say it doesn't matter. Those are like trigger words to a narcissist. Doesn't matter. Because they need to know that it bothers you. They need to know that you care enough to still be there when they are ready to come back. And I mean that I have experienced it and I have used those words with narcissists when I was just done. Like fed up with it. Like I know that you're you're making a habit out of doing this because of my response. But now that I've decided to change the response, now I'm going to see how it affects you. See, they can dish it, but they can't take it. And it's not like playing a game with them. It's just deciding to take your power back. Because when the narcissist realize that you're going to keep responding the same way to the silent treatment, they're going to keep using that tactic every now and again. And what we don't want to happen is that they have the upper hand all the time when they feel some type of way or when they're low on fuel or just feeling down and, you know, don't have much energy to keep going. It's just like they shut you out to punish you. And like, why? Like, there's no reason why you can never explain, you know, there could never be a logical explanation to why they behave the way they do. Never. And you could never change them. You shouldn't even want to change anyone. A person should want to change themselves, you know, to be healthier, to be better than what they are. If they don't want that for self, then why should we want it for them? You should never want something more for a person than they want for themselves. Dealing with that is difficult, especially when you're living with them. But I'm telling you, the best response is to just let them know, you know, it don't even matter anymore. You got this, you know, I'm not going to promise you I'll be here when you're ready to talk again. But if I am, just know that I didn't cause the silent treatment. This is a way that you deal with your own inner thoughts and the way you perceive things. So, you know, that's all on you. I will not take the blame or responsibility for your feelings. Because first of all, communication is the key. I cannot read your mind and I'm not going to try to. I'm not going to drive myself crazy, running around in circles, trying to figure you out. I shouldn't have to figure you out. We're adults. We're not children. Children have temper tantrums and uh, stomp in their room and slam the door and say they're not going to talk to you anymore. Like, they're more understanding than an adult who does this. Like, it's uncalled for. It could be better than this. But you don't want it to be because you feel so powerful knowing that I'm going to receive it a certain way and I'm going to respond a certain way. As long as you keep giving them that, they're going to keep doing it. But the moment you tell them you don't care anymore, boy, that's when you're going to get something out of them. They're going to crack then. Now, I'm not saying that they're going to do better because they're probably not. But as long as they know that it's not working on you anymore. So they can't use that anymore on you. You know, not going to do what narcissists do. And if they're not doing it to you, they're going to do it to somebody else. You know, sadly, they behave their way and they manipulate people and gaslight people into thinking it's always their fault. But the good thing is, you know, realizing that it's not you and it never was you. And the best thing about that is being able to give them, you know, the right response and just let them know. That you're not going to play that game with them anymore. Or don't tell them. Just give them the silent treatment in return. Just don't feed into it. Don't receive it as something that you did wrong. Don't even entertain it. Let them have it. Because once you realize it's a pattern. And you think like, wait a minute, I didn't do nothing wrong. Once that light bulb goes off, you know, you'll start to feel a weight lifted off of you like wait why am i carrying this with me i didn't even do nothing wrong you know so that is how to respond to a narcissist's 
silent treatment.